Okay. To shake things up, we're going to look at Superman in honor of really just of unpacking my toys and trying to get a good variety of videos up. But let's say it's in honor of Man of Steel video, the Man of Steel film, which I saw opening day and I recommend. I liked it a lot. This is the Artifacts Plus statue of Superman in his new 52 costume by Kotobukiya. Um, I don't read comics really. I cannot say I'm a big fan of a lot of the new 52 costume redesigns. I do think Superman's is okay, and well, I had the opportunity to get some of these through a friend who works at a comic book sto store for a less than retail price, so they do look really, really good, and at least in the promo pictures that I've seen of all of them all displayed together in their nice metallic -y paint, so <clears throat> I thought I might go for it. Um, let's open it up. Put it out of the box, and it's just in a neat little clamshell box that snaps together and the figure is going to fall right out like that ha <laughs> ha well <clears throat> turned out better than expected so start with the base square chunk of plastic that says Justice League on it in nice chromey thing that's pretty much it it's a little big <clears throat> but not terrible um, and actually it will really help the figures stay spaced apart on my shelf rather than all crowding together too much. Superman has two tiny magnets in his feet that are supposed to help him stand on the base. In theory that's cool, in practice I find the magnets are not quite strong enough. This one isn't bad, but the other one I have, his f legs are just a little bit uh, bent in so his feet don't sit flat on the base, and it's just enough that the magnet doesn't get a good hold on the base, so he's not really any more stable than he would be if he were just sitting on a plane table. Superman is a little bit better. <clears throat> he is very pretty. Nice metallic-y red, blue, and yellow paint on the costume. I, I call me weird, but I don't have a problem with all the lines on Superman's costume. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Superman doesn't need armor, which is what the lines make it look like. But uh, I like it. I like that the one on his shoulder is the same shape as his S shield. Um, I like the lines in the boots, which I hope you can see there. Uh, I, I like the costume. I like the shade of blue. I like the red trim around the, the cuffs. And again, there's the same uh, whatever shape that is, the S shield on the wrist. I don't mind that they got rid of the underwear on the outside uh, because they left some red in the belt and that breaks up the giant field of blue. <coughs> Excuse me. That's my problem with the Man of Steel costume is that there is nothing that breaks up the the big bodysuit of blue except for some black that comes around the sides and you can't really see it most of the time. I think Superman's costume needs something in the middle there too just to break it up a little bit, and I think the, the red belt works. Um, the cape does have a big S on the back. I honestly wish it was yellow, because I'm a fan of that, but the black works too. Looks good. And the head. It's well done. The hair sculpting is really good. He still has a little bit of an S curl there. He looks really young like high school age, which maybe he's supposed to be in New 52, I don't know. But it looks a little young. Being an Artifacts Plus statue, it is a statue. No moving parts, no interchangeable um, pieces. I know some of the Star Wars Artifacts Plus statues have interchangeable arms or legs so you can shake up the the pose, but not these. These will all be static people in a line looking all heroic. Um, it was 40 bucks is the official MSRP. I know my local comic shop was selling them for geez, 50 or 60 I think. Uh, I got it through my buddy for I think 35 and that's not a bad price. I like it for that. Not much else to say about it. I can't wait to get Batman and Wonder Woman in particular when I have the DC Trinity 
it'll be really cool to have the three of them displayed together. But I'll get Flash and Aquaman and Green Lantern if I can get them for cheap. Thanks for watching.